<laughs> Hi, my name is G.S. Bailey and I do military drills. And do you like what you see? Am I entertaining you at the very least? Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe down there if you like what you see or if I'm entertaining you. Are you not entertained? Uh, ring the bell and also help me buy teacher luxuries like food. Don't forget the tip jar over there, okay? It's a PayPal link, so you'll need your PayPal app and scan that deal. Now, here we go. I am in with an eight to five crew and don't worry if you use a six to five grid, I will do this exact same drill with the exact, almost the exact same numbers. I think I'm a, I'll have like 66 on the six to five crew, okay? So don't worry. So I've got my page tab set and I'll give you all a chance to take a look here. I have a zero, 16, 24 and 56. Okay, and I'm hoping on my 56 one that they don't go off the grid. They didn't on six to five, so they shouldn't on eight to five. Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit number two there. And that gets me 16 counts. I'm gonna select everybody and we're just going to move up those 16 counts because we're clear on the other side of the field and we wanna down towards here, down towards in here where the power zones are, okay? So we go down by eight to five, that gives us 16 counts, 10 yards. Perfect, boom, that was an easy first move. So now I'm gonna wheel them out here. We're going to do some wheels and now, there we go. I'm gonna mirror each crew and put my stationary pivots right there, okay? And are they, yeah, they are the 90 and they're the minus 90 crew, okay. And I can move this back up and out of my way. If you grab the gray thingies here, that will get them out of your way. Okay, so I want my left mirror there because I want everybody doing the exact same thing. And they're minus 90. Now here again, remember this side's going to be the exact opposite if we're going to mirror, but we still need that left mirror button. It's just, they're gonna be nine minus 90 up here instead of a plus 90. And then this crew will be a regular 90 degree turn. So I need to move all my handles over like this. And the reason why I can do this so quickly is because simply put, I practiced this and messed up like 20 times. This takes me, it takes me a whole lot of takes to get stuff right, okay? So I'm gonna now have this crew right here, just continue their march down by eight. Good job, you landed on the hash mark, great job. My other crews, are going to be using the traditional tool. And this side over here will be doing a right flank. While this side over here, their command is just left flank. We're on an eight to five stride. When we go to the six to five field, guess what we're going to have to do? Change the eight to a six. Exactly. And I'm going to make it to where they are two steps apart that each rank there is going to be two steps apart. There we go. Now close that off. So they're gonna be the right flank. I'm just gonna do like that, just so you can see what's going on there. Oh no, you're, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, I messed up, I messed up. They're the left flank group, duh. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, y'all. I kind of I kind of messed up on my directions here because I'm I have to tilt my head sometimes to try and get it from their perspective. This group is the right flank. I was trying to jump the gun here and make sure I want them two steps apart. So let me just finish this side then before I make another mistake. There we go. Now, let me get this crew and remember they are the left flank crew because you got to tilt your I tilt my head and try to figure out exactly how they're rolling here and sometimes I make mistakes too so we left flank them and we go like that there we go so over 56 counts that's how that ends now I'm going to shrink my real view for a minute and I'm going to have you see what's going on here
Oh, I better rewind that all the way to zero. Set your yellow handle to zero, and then I can do this, and you can see the whole thing as it goes on. So we're forward marching 16 counts, and then wheel out, and then we do our consolidation to get them in there a little tighter space. From here, I could do a whole bunch of other moves, but I'm only going to limit myself to 56 counts today. Now, let me get this window out like this. I'm going to flare out my real view, tilt that down to about where I'd want to see it as an audience member and go like this. Now, get ready. Here it is in the real view. So you can see what's going on. Remember on the wheels, I did not do, I, I did not fix the pinwheels to where my pivots were going to rotate with them. So remember that. And I did that by design. I did that, I believe it or not, by design in order to have an anchor point because we're not on a yard line. Okay, so remember that's just because I need that anchor point. We are being a core band today, aren't we? So I need to do this and get to the visual editor and make sure they are following the direction of the movement. I made a new file. And you can do that while this is maxed out and everything. Take a look. Now they're going to follow the direction of the movement like I wanted them to. All right, so here we go. <laughs> so the 16 count advance. And here's the wheel. Now you can see they're starting to follow the direction of the movement. And here they come up for the rest of the 56 counts. Now, like I said, from here, I could probably have them flare out and expand once again into something else. But like I said, I wanted to limit myself just to a few counts to get you all into this and to get you to start playing in this. All right, so but the main deal is to make sure that they're following the direction of the movement like I forgot to do at the start. Otherwise, they're just a really bad core band. Okay, the, instead of some, instead of a military band, that's gonna look a whole lot better. So I wanna keep the counts right and everything else right, but now set up for a six to five crew. Because my Zoom has decided to be in the way here, I'm going to load up my six to five grid already and remember how to do that, I hope, from earlier. But look, my eight to five people here, even though I started them off at that backyard line, take a look. I still have them spaced on that previous deal. So let me jump in here and it's going to take me a couple of minutes to fix stuff and I'll be right back. All right. Be right back. All right, we are back, and I even made sure to hit follow the direction of the movement, and I'll, I will prove that to you by selecting everyone. And it says follow the direction of the movement there on the radio button, so I can't mess that up again, okay? But I also forgot to slap a surface on there. I'm going to slap the NCAA surface on there because I'm dealing with the six to five grid now instead of eight. So this is the same kind of a deal. And I'll show you the little trick just in case you forgot to chop up into your squats, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to have them do their advance, mainly because I also want to get the zoom controls out of the way. So we're going down by six to five. Remember, six to five grid. So here we are. And now... I am going to do just the cut right now. You can do it at any possible chart. It doesn't have to be on the initial chart, okay? Oh, and I forgot to put my center crew there. So I'll show you how to add those in too. So let me get the chop done and we'll wheel them back out, okay? Well, no, I'll add that other crew first. And then will come back here for wheels, okay? So let me come back to my count zero. I'm just gonna add a line in here 
So remember three, six, I have to go back by six, okay? And we're good. So remember, I wanna push them back by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I only have to do that because it's because the Zoom controls are in my way. That floating palette from Zoom is like messing me up big time. So now we're gonna go, they're gonna have them go up by their 16. So we're gonna go down by six to five, down by six, and they are lined up with the rest of the crew, except for this little bit right here. Let's fix that. And we also need to fix their uniforms because they defaulted to them. So back to the visual editor and we're gonna do that and that and apply changes and we'll have you follow the direction of the movement because you're always set to a core band. All right, so. <laughs> I don't have to be crazy, it just helps. Now, <clears throat> Here's the, here's the part here. I'm gonna have these, this group here is just gonna mark time. They're gonna be my drum crew. So we're gonna have the rest of them wheel out just like on my eight to five, okay? Exactly these, well, now you quit that. There we go. I wanted mirroring and put it right there at them. Right, the one right before the yard line. And they are the 90 degree crew. This is minus 90. And then the bottom two will, and then the other two over here, sorry, not the bottom two, but this side's two, will be the exact opposite again. But at the very least, you just have to line it up now once you get the first crew done. And there we go. So let's get this one going. And it's like I said, I've had a lot of practice in doing this today because I do not release these unless I am at least somewhat happy with it. So they're gonna move minus 90 and then this crew will move a plus 90. And like I said, the advantage of having one group already out, if you're doing this deal, this kind of a move here, oh, whoops, I did minus 90, didn't I? I need a positive 90, there we go. And the main advantage once you get the first group done is you just have to line it up, line your pluses up with these X's up here. All right, so now for the 56, same deal. This crew right here, and you see my drum block here, I did not split them apart. Uh, so we're gonna go down by six, kaboom. And now the rest is the traditional tool again. I can highlight multiple squads as long as they're going in the exact same direction like this or the exact same direction like that. If they're going to be a mixed crew, like if they're making a 90 degree angle like that, if they're gonna collide like that, then you have to highlight each group and input their commands separately or it gets weird. Now, so this is the side that goes right flank. This side will go left flank. So we have an eight to five here. We all know what we have to do. Change the eight to a six. That's right. So we wanna keep them. I do wanna to try to keep them at two steps apart. We don't wanna make a one step there. So let's right flank them. And we're gonna right flank them to and make sure you're two steps apart. And remember you're dealing with a six to five grid. So here we go, there. And now this crew is left flank. So we left flanked and now we got left flank again. Then we have two more left flanks to do, yes, you'll be right, because you are the art line crew, all right. And then you're gonna left flank. And again, it helps, because I'm making symmetrical drills right now. Um, you can have asymmetry in a military band. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of stuff you can do and fall under the umbrella. An asymmetrical drill is actually it. Now I move them up first and then I left flanked them. You can do it in the opposite order too. It doesn't matter. The command structure remains the same. All right, so 
There's our 56 on a six to five, uh, six to five grid. So I shrunk my real view window one last time and I'm gonna show you how that works, ready? So here they come up. This is the 16 count push forward. Wheel out. And remember, I didn't put, use my pivots. I didn't have the stationary pivots go with them because sometimes I do like to have that kind of an anchor, an actual anchor point like that. And if they rotate, they sometimes lose their anchor spot. So once in a blue moon, they lose their anchor spot. So there's that on the grid. Okay, and here we are in real view. I am going to widen this out one last time to show this to you. And I want to make sure I can get them in. So I'm going to go right up like that. All right, there we go. From zero to 56, here we go in real view. So again, 16 count push. Here's the wheel. I got one that's doing wiggly butt. I saw that. That's something I'm gonna have to complain to Dustin Merrill about because there's just too much wiggly butt when I'm having them do that kind of a rotation. And here they come up forward after their flank move. You see, I did that entire thing in, just, in like 56 quick counts. I know there is no counter march. I know. I did that on purpose, by the way. And the deal is, you um, it doesn't have to be counter march, counter march, counter march, starburst, because you have to have something different, right? Uh, you don't have to. Um, there's a whole lot of other stuff you can do without a single counter march. Now, granted, if I have a six to five crew that is in Texas, you're going to have a counter march, one per song. My goal is usually at least one counter, one blocked counter march per song. I don't count stuff like a counter diamond or a uh, or rolling parallelogram. If it has a counter march as a part of an overall bigger deal, I don't count that as the one counter march song. I count that one counter march as you're in that block and you're to go the other way. And you and you keep it. Um, I and like I said, a lot um, a big moral of the Texas bands down that way is you never go across the 50 the same way twice. Okay. Cause if you do, you run the risk of boring them to death. But if you also just go out there and do counter March, counter March, counter March, starburst, you're still going to bore them to death. You're, you're absolutely going to bore them to death doing that. So inject a little variety in those moves. Use more, use more this way instead of going this way, this way. And it really does help to, uh, make for a more varied show. All right. So until next time, the next time we're going to go through musical selections in the military band and use the audio sync. Okay. So have a great day. Have some happy drilling. Mess around in that. And, and also don't forget, you really need to remember to check that they follow the direction of the movement. If you don't, then it's going to look like a really bad core band instead of a military styled band. OK, so make sure that's checked and make sure you work with some of the more blocky pieces here. All right. So until then, have a great day and happy drilling, guys. I'll see you all later.